Hi guys, it's me again, Charles Norman, AthleticSOS.com. And today I actually have to go to three different organizations that are already set up and already using the Athletic SOS software. And I have to go back because I missed something huge. And as we're growing, I'm learning more and more about this. So most of you guys have heard of FOMO, right? The fear of missing out. Well, the parents in the athletic world that are trying to get athletic scholarships for their kids have a different version of this. I call it FOMU, the fear of messing up. And so we give you this software and this software will find all the schools that match up to your student athlete academically, um, athletically, they have that sport, um, they have it at the level that your kid can play at, that someone helped you and worked with you on. But the parents are still not using the software completely. So the three organizations I'm going to today all of them have already paid, the, the software's already paid for. They've had it for a couple of months. And the coaches are like, we don't, we can't figure it out. No one's using the software. So as I've been doing this the last few weeks and I'm sitting in the room with the parents, I'm realizing the parents kind of had it made, right? If you think about it, if you paid to be on this club team and you put your kid in the high school and they made varsity and you paid for training and you did all of that stuff and you're gonna pay for them to go to these tournaments, these viewing tournaments or these combines and these showcases, is you kind of have an out because if you think about it if things don't work out if your kid does not get an athletic scholarship you can sit back and say hey I did everything I could do right I, I put them in position I listened to what everyone was telling me to do I made sure they got exposure the coaches saw them play but now with this tool with athletic SOS now they can go in and they need to sit down with their kid and they need to start picking some choosing picking some schools so I'm gonna give you guys two words you decide and this changes everything and I and I and I think on the overall because I kind of got into this business after working for someone for almost 30 years and so I know what you guys are going to there's a fear here the the fear that you're gonna mess up that someone's gonna ridicule you or it's gonna be your fault it's not gonna be your fault and so what I want you guys to think about right now is this is an and software this is not an or software so you're gonna go and do the same thing you were gonna do anyway right you you have already put them on the team you've already got them in the high school they're already going to these combines and showcases and viewing tournaments they were gonna do that anyway all you're doing is doing an and you're gonna go in and pick so what I've been doing lately is I've made a formula for you so here's what I want you to do I want you to pick 10 schools your, your travel club coach or your high school coach, whoever has you in this system, and if you're solo, we'll talk about that too. But if you, whoever has told you where they think you can play, which level they think you can play, that they're gonna provide that credibility for you using the software, pick 10 schools. And sit down with your kid and you decide what major are they gonna take? You and the kid, you guys, you and your student athlete can figure this out for yourselves. You can decide what, what kind of uh, environment you wanna be in. Is it rural? Is it uh, um, uh, urban? Is it whatever it is, right? You're gonna figure that out too. You guys can sit down and do that, all right? And then you're gonna find out, you wanna to go to a large school, you wanna to go to a smaller school, do you wanna to go to, just figure out what you're trying to do. You're not gonna mess up. Pick 10 schools there. Then I want you to pick five schools that may be above the level that everybody thinks you can play at, right? So if they think you're a D3 kid, NAIA, um, pick a D2 school. If they think you're D2, pick a D1 school. Pick five of those. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna reach out to those schools and you're gonna do everything else the same way. So you're gonna let your, your coaches know, hey, these are the schools we're looking at. If you're solo, we show you how to reach out and you go ahead and do what you're gonna do anyway. Also, if you're solo, here's the other thing. Even though you signed up on your own, we can set your, you up with your, your uh, travel club program or your high school coach. All you have to do is have them email me and I'll, I'll leave my information, my contact information at the end and we can add them after the fact and then they can see the schools you're, you're uh, reaching out to and they can make that uh, first contact for you also. Now we show you how to do it yourself, but you can do it also. But this is to the parents. Don't be afraid, and you want to teach your kids this. Um, I'm just like the rest of you guys. Follow the rules, and you can't mess up. And if you do mess up, it's their fault, right? You did everything the right way. You went to school. You uh, put your, your applications in. You, you did everything by the books. You followed the rules. And if things don't work out for you, now you can whine and cry about it. But the world's changing, and it's changing for this generation. This generation's coming up. You get to start choosing. You choose. You decide. And that's going to be the difference now. 
So go ahead, if you're solo, go ahead and just purchase the software. I gave you guys the code before, I'll put it at the end of this uh, video too. Use the code and you can get in. If you are a parent that is using this software and you already have an organization behind you, don't be afraid anymore. Pick the 10 schools based on what they're talking about uh, the, that they think you can play at. And if those don't work out, go pick 10 more. And then pick five of the schools that are sort of your dream school, one step above that level, something for you to aspire to, something for you to get to. You can't mess this up. This is not an or, this is an and. You're gonna do the other stuff anyway. So I just wanted to put this out today. I gotta to do three of these today. One's at uh, uh, 9 a.m. this morning, so I'm getting ready to go do that one. Then I got another one about one o'clock and another one about four o'clock. And I don't mind doing them, but I'm starting to realize, and I wanna make this video, the fear of messing up is gonna paralyze you guys. Don't be afraid. You wanna, you wanna, Put your kid in the best position to succeed, and this is the way to do it. You have choices now. Software has changed everything. Get athleticsos.com. Go to our website, athleticsos.com. If you are a coach of a program, go to our site. Uh, there's a thing to uh, send us information, and we will get back to you. We've been signing people up so quickly over here. We have uh, consultants in all the different areas now. I had to get a bunch of consultants out to help out, but we will get you set up. If you're a high school coach, same thing for you. We will get your school, your team, set up and then the way it's working right now is we set up one team at a school and all of a sudden all the other coaches want to be involved in it too and so I'm, I'm thrilled to do this but we're gonna have to rethink everything right so that FOMU anybody wants to use that uh, give me credit for it and we're good to go but that's that's my new word now the fear of messing up and you're not gonna do it with this software this is an and not an or all right guys best of luck to you best of luck to all the student athletes out there and parents coaches let's keep them in the game Talk to you guys later. Bye.